back in the kitchen, making bread, making, this is milk bread dough, and I'm making these ones that are like stuffed with sambal olek. Apologies on that pronunciation if it's wrong. And Parmesan. The first one went okay. I need to get a smaller rolling pin. So it's supposed to be three by five, but like, look at this. That, that size just feels wrong. Cause like, That's so small, right? Like this is about three by five, give or take. So here we are. I really, I, what I need to do is get a ruler for the kitchen because I'll feel better about everything if I do that. And we like mark halfway, cut slits. It says a quarter inch apart. These are really not exactly a quarter inch, but that is something I'm better at eyeballing because of sewing. Then we put a teaspoon of sambal olek. It's probably sambal. I think it's Indonesian. And another Indonesian classic, a Parmesan. We got two teaspoons of this. That was more like one. Also JK about that being Indonesian because it strikes me as not, but who knows? Then we roll it up. Yeah. Oh, this one is much better than the first one. Usually the case, so let me put seam side down. Maybe I will arrange them on this pan as one might savoir, 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 look, I forgot how it's said, lady fingers. Um, a little more flour. Really, flour feels unnecessary. <laughs> flour just means it sticks to the rolling pin because it doesn't stick to the counter. Okay. Let's do this. Yeah, roll here, roll there. Mm hmm. Too long, too long. Just stop, Marie. Just stop. Okay. Let's get, oh, my teaspoon was just like falling into the bottom of this very large container. It's fine. You know what I should have done? And I regret all my choices up to this point. I hope I didn't just like contaminate that entire big container. I'm so boned at that thought. That looks like a bear paw, right? This looks like two teaspoons. That looks like more than two teaspoons. This one looks like the cheesiest. Now we're going to roll this up. I'm trying to keep, keep a tight roll. Oh, go 
go in there. I really want to make lady fingers. I don't know how I need to. Wait, we said we didn't like that. Okay. Let's go just do this. See, like that's pretty much perfect. I think if I want one in, if one end's gonna be square, I think I want it to be this end. Mm -hmm. You could do this shape with like anything. I could switch my mind part way and fill it with like jam. This feels like too much. But here we are, living our best life. This lovely imported Parmigiano Reggiano feels like the wrong choice when you're putting it with such highly spiced stuff but trusting the process well that's is that true I'm trusting the recipe first time I make it oh this one's going this is just perfect mm hmm Yep, go over there. There's room for three on here. Well, theoretically. I just heard from my mom that my dad just got his first pair of left-handed scissors. She doubts that's the case. But, I don't know, it wouldn't surprise me. I don't know how frequently he had to cut things. You know, after childhood, how often do you find yourself needing to cut things if you're not, like, you know, sewing? With scissors, let me restate, because you might cut things with a saw or something. Or a knife. Or a word. Mm -hmm. I kind of like love how these look right now. Let me restate. I really love how these look right now. A lot. They're so cute. You know what I like in recipes that give you everything by weight? When they also give you the weight of the dough. Like, hi, if you followed our recipe, this is how much your stuff should weigh. Because then it's easier to know, oh, then I should cut, if I want to piece this into 12, that's about 59 grams each. So this is a teaspoon of sample, sample, sambal, olic, 
I should have looked this up. Especially given how I get a little bit anxious about mispronouncing things. Because I know it's nice for people when you do, when you take the time to pronounce it properly. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This one. I thought this might be smaller. I think that was right. Look at them. Now I've got to let them rest. They're gonna raise for till they double, so that's probably 45 minutes to an hour. It's somewhat chilly in here, and I can't you can't let them do this rise in the oven because I'll have to be heating the oven. Oh yeah, this one was a good idea. No flour on this one, no problem. Can we do one that's not this flavor? Ooh, that's too wide, Maria. What flavor? Like, I guess I'm, maybe I just want peanut butter and jelly, and that's why I'm thinking of that flavor. I mean, who doesn't want peanut butter and jelly pretty much all the time? Um, the audiobook I've been listening to is reaching its it's climax right now. I think I have half an hour left in it at most. But I had to do this, so I thought, hmm, I'll pause the book. I could do tomato, make these like pizzas. I should try that. But another day. They will get more Parmesan on top before they go in. I'll have an egg wash. It's funny because all pretty much all of the bread recipes in this book have an egg wash and the number of times I usually do an egg wash hitherto making recipes from this book approached zero. Oh, and this is good. Okay, we're doing all right shaping these. I had hoped to make these on the first, 
but I didn't have bread flour. So, you know. I did buy bread flour on my mom and dad's though, so I can hopefully make them some. Kind of like, like a, woo, you know. A cuttlefish, a squid, a ghost. What do you think it looks like? A skeleton? Like Jack? Skeleton? <laughs> Lovely. I keep looking for a smaller rolling pin when I go to the Asian market. Because that's who I see using them in cooking videos. And thus far I have been unsuccessful. She'll have to look harder. Yeah, this is happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're, we're going to make a mess with a couple of these. It's a bad idea. And we're doing it anyway. Now, actually, I could make these into hot dog, hot dog buns. I mean, y'all don't know what I mean by that. Hot dog flour things. I don't think I will. I like the idea of doing this exact same thing. somewhat thoroughly washing this because I just worry. I feel like there would be nothing worse than peanut butter and jelly that tasted like Samuel Olick and lemon. Okay, what flavor? Raspberry, great, great. Good call. Right. Okay, we're gonna do these two together, I think. This is, this is it. Okay. About halfway.
Now, tricky part here. Let's pull these longer. This works perfectly 100% of the time, by which I mean never. I think. You are delicious. Love you. Stop, Marina. Okay, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Delicious. More peanut butter that's not like rock hard. But I mean, I guess the good news about this peanut butter is that I can just form it into a patty. I mean, that's pretty cool. because like this is the kind where the oil separates out or as you use it there's less and less oil can I wash my hand yeah. this is good enough and now we roll it's gonna get messy and we're living with it we're looking forward to it in fact oh yeah Yep. Oh, it's beautiful. You're beautiful. Oh, I love you so much. Okay. There's not much peanut butter left. I hope I have more. I'm gonna cover these with a wet towel. Yeah. Very exciting.